The Subaru Legacy family is available in sedan or wagon body styles in a wide range of variants for 2007. The Legacy 2.5i, 2.5i Special Edition, and 2.5i Limited, along with the Outback 2.5i Basic, 2.5i, 2.5i LL Bean Edition, 2.5i Limited, and 2.5i Limited LL Bean Edition models get a 175 horsepower 2.5L horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine. Legacy 2.5 GT Limited and 2.5 GT Spec B and Outback 2.5 XT Limited models have a 243 horsepower 2.5L turbocharged flat four. And the top Outback 3.0 or LL Bean Edition gets the smooth 245 horsepower 3.0 L flat six engine. The Legacy 2.5 GT Limited Wagon and 3.0 or LL Bean Edition have a standard five speed automatic transmission. Special Edition 2.5 I models have a standard four speed automatic. Most other models have a standard 5-speed manual with an automatic optional, except Spec B models, which have a 6-speed manual standard. All Legacy and Outback models have all-wheel drive systems. Legacy models have a suspension tuned for good on-road performance and handling, while Outback models have a heavy-duty, raised suspension with up to 8.7 inches of ground clearance that's oriented toward unpaved roads and trails. Base Legacy 2.5 i models come equipped modestly but with most common conveniences such as power windows, locks and mirrors, air conditioning, cruise control, keyless entry, alloy wheels, and a 100 watt MP3 compatible CD sound system with auxiliary input and six speakers. Special edition models add a power driver's seat and power moonroof, while the 2.5i Limited includes heated front seats and mirrors, a six-disc CD changer, dual-zone climate control, fog lamps, leather trim, and a wiper de-icer. 2.5 GT models get a new Subaru Intelligent Drive SI Drive system, which enables three different levels of engine performance, Intelligent, Sport, and Sport Sharp. The new performance-oriented 2.5 GT Spec B sedan also gets an exclusive Bilstein sport suspension with aluminum suspension components, inverted struts, 18-inch alloy wheels with summer performance tires, special ground effects, interior trim, and a standard navigation system available on GT's Limited. The 2.5 GT Limited along with the Spec B also gets a quicker steering ratio, larger front brake rotors, and ventilated rear rotors. The more ruggedly styled Outback is also available in both sedan and wagon variants, but as a sedan, it's only available in top limited or LL Bean trim. Wagon Outbacks come in a 2.5i basic model, which roughly compared with the Legacy 2.5i, and the range progresses all the way up to the LL Bean edition models, which add a standard navigation system, aluminum wheels, and upgraded power seats along with a special two-tone scheme. Front seat side impact airbags, side curtain airbags for all outboard occupants, and active front head restraints are standard on all models, as are anti-lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution. The Legacy is a top performer in crash tests, and an insurance institute for highway safety, IIHS, top safety pick gold. Nestled among the rugged-looking crossovers in Subaru dealerships is the easy-to-miss 2023 Legacy. Looking every bit the conventional family sedan that it is, it seems only distantly related to the lifted SUV-ish Outback Station wagon, though the two are built on the same platform and share many components. Subaru knows how to build exciting cars, witness the BRZ and several generations of rally-inspired WRXs, but the legacy is not one of them. It drives with a competent aloofness, and its base four-cylinder engine delivers unremarkable acceleration. A turbocharged four-cylinder is optional that provides more eager acceleration, but none of the legacy models deliver the same driving enjoyment that comes standard in a Honda Accord. Neither will you find a hybrid powertrain here, something that's available in the Honda, as well as in the Hyundai Sonata and Toyota Camry. The legacy at least rides comfortably, is fairly spacious, and quite well-equipped, including standard all-wheel drive, and those are reasons to consider one. But for similar money, there are other numerous mid-sized cars that offer equal value and a more engaging experience for the driver. Despite not looking all that different, the 2020 Subaru Legacy pictured here is a brand new sedan. 
and while it might not stir emotions with its design, those who look beneath the conservative sheet metal will discover a spacious interior chock full of new technology, not to mention a more robust chassis that makes the Legacy much nicer to drive. The 2020 Legacy rides on Subaru's new global platform that also underpins the Ascent, Crosstrek, Forester, Impreza, and Outback. This stiffer, stronger frame forms the bones of a sedan that's about the same size as before with a 108.3-inch wheelbase. For those hoping the stiffer platform translates to tighter, more responsive handling, I'm sorry to say that's not the case. Tossing the Legacy Sport into curves, you'll experience some dive under braking and a bit of control roll at turn in. The car's road-holding abilities are just okay through bends, but pushing it moderately hard results in howls from the 18-inch Yokohama Avid GT Blue Earth tires. Even with the most aggressive sport sharp drive mode activated, the Legacy steering is numb off-center, the weight builds progressively as you turn. The brakes boast strong initial bite at the top of the pedal stroke and are easy to modulate. Where the Legacy really shines, though, is in the ride comfort department. The softer sprung suspension and 50 series sidewall tires are great for comfy jogs around town, smoothing out impacts from bumps and ruts along the way. Updated base and new turbo engine options. The 2020 Legacy has a new 2.4 liter turbo engine option that replaces the old Boxer 6. Rated at 260 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque, it's the same turbocharged flat four you'll find in the Ascent and Outback. My sport trim, however, rocks an updated version of Subaru's 2.5-liter naturally aspirated Boxer 4 with 182 horsepower and 176 lb-ft, made it to a continuously variable transmission and standard all-wheel drive. In the sport sharp setting, the engine delivers adequate grunt to get the legacy hustling up to speed for highway merging. With the car in the default intelligent mode, however, and acceleration is leisurely at best. The legacy CVT does a fairly seamless job of switching between ratios so the engine won't annoyingly buzz like mad during wide open throttle applications. Opting to change ratios yourself via the steering wheel paddles can be done, too, but the responses are so frustratingly muted that it's best to let the computers handle shifting. As for fuel economy, the base drivetrain setup returns an EPA-estimated 27 miles per gallon in the city and 35 mpg on the highway. That's not shabby considering the legacy comes standard with all-wheel drive. Clean styling with fresh tech. The Legacy is unquestionably understated compared to more fashionable midsize sedans like the latest Honda Accord, Hyundai Sonata, Mazda 6, and Nissan Altima. Even with the sport model's additional touches like its unique grille, black mirror caps, black wheels, and trunk spoiler, the car simply gets lost in the crowd. Then again, if you prefer to fly under the radar, this might be the sedan for you. Things do get more interesting inside, at least. The Legacy's cabin is airy with a lot of glass letting in oodles of natural light. There's generous room for passengers up front or in back, with the latter gaining an additional 1.4 inches of legroom compared to the old Legacy. The interior has a relatively straightforward design and everything is built from high-quality materials with leather-wrapped, soft-touch, and nicely stitched surfaces throughout. Even the hard plastic portions feel sturdy and are nicely finished. The seats are cushy, there are numerous cubbies to stash things in the trunk, with 15.1 cubic feet of space, will swallow just about anything you throw at it. Subaru's family sedan wears an updated look for 2023, with a larger grille, a revised front bumper, and different headlamps. The mid-range sport model now comes standard with a 260-horsepower turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder and additional exterior embellishments including a red stripe in the grille and gray mirror caps. Automated emergency steering has been added to the roster of available driver assistance features, and the top Touring XT trim uses a new wide-angle camera that improves the field of view for the car's eyesight system. The mid-range sport offers a good balance between price and features. Not only does it come with the more powerful 260-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder, it also adds a bunch of desirable equipment. The Sport comes standard with 18-inch wheels, a power sunroof, LED fob lamps, a rear spoiler, blind spot monitoring, keyless entry with push-button start, 
an auto-dimming rear-view mirror with compass, rear automated emergency braking, and cloth upholstery with red contrast stitching. A 2.5-liter horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine is standard and makes 182 horsepower. Sport and Touring XT models come with a 260 horsepower turbocharged 2.4-liter engine. All legacy models have all-wheel drive and a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT. We've tested both engines now, and what a difference a turbo makes. The Touring XT managed to hit 60 miles per hour in just 6.1 seconds, while the non-turbo Sport required a lackluster 8.0 seconds. Regardless of which engine is under the hood, the new Legacy boasts slightly improved handling dynamics over the last generation and a similarly compliant ride. The non-turbo cars achieve higher fuel economy estimates from the EPA, 27 miles per gallon city, 35 MPG highway, and 30 miles per gallon combined, but the turbocharged models aren't far behind at 24 miles per gallon city, 32 MPG highway, and 27 miles per gallon combined. In our real-world 200-mile highway fuel economy tests, both powertrains delivered 34 miles per gallon, one mile per gallon short of the Accord 2.0 T's result. That said, the Subaru and Honda pale in comparison with the 2.5-liter equipped Camry SE, which delivered an impressive 45 miles per gallon. Though the measurements may not show it, the Legacy's cabin feels much bigger than the last generation's, particularly in the back. While its design is still on the dowdy side, the Legacy's interior is functional, with well-chosen materials throughout. Cloth upholstery is standard, but the high-end limited and touring models have leather. The front seats are well-sculpted and comfortable, and the upper trims feature a manual thigh extension for the driver's seat, a boon to long-legged buyers. The trunk is generously sized and held eight carry-on suitcases in our testing, one more than the Accord and two more than the Camry. Base models use a version of Subaru's Starlink infotainment system that features dual 7.0-inch displays. The One Rung Up Premium model has the company's latest 11.6-inch vertically-oriented infotainment display that looks as if it had been borrowed from a Volvo. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration come standard. And while in-dash navigation is only standard on the Limited and Touring XT models, it's optional on all but the base legacy. A four-speaker stereo is standard, premium and sport models come with a six-speaker setup, and anything above that gets a 12-speaker Harman slash Kardon audio system. There's a massive 11.6-inch center touchscreen housing the Subaru Multimedia Plus infotainment system. It's packed full of goodies such as a TomTom -Tom navigation system, Wi-Fi hotspot, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite radio, and Bluetooth. While those occupy the middle portion of the display, the bottom houses climate adjustments like fan speed, vent settings, and three-stage heated front seats. For the most part, I like the intuitive infotainment interface. It's got big, clearly labeled icons and quickly swaps pages between different menu screens. Thankfully, Subaru doesn't put everything in the touchscreen, with a couple of knobs and a few hard buttons on the side to adjust radio volume, tuning, and cabin temperature. On the driver assistance technology front, every legacy comes standard with Subaru's EyeSight suite of features, including adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist with lane centering, and pedestrian detection. My test car is also outfitted with available blind spot monitoring, reverse automatic braking, and lane change assist that all work as advertised. After spending a week with the serviceable, but slightly underwhelming base engine, my ideal Subaru legacy would have to have the turbo. I'd go with the Limited XT that begins at $35,095, including $900 for destination. With options like heated seats, a heated steering wheel, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross-traffic alert standard, I'd leave it at that and be happy as a clam. It's a fair amount more than the $30,090 car reviewed here, but trust me, if you can swing the turbo, get it. Mid-size sedan entries offering all-wheel drive aren't as sparse as before with the Nissan Altima and Toyota Camry now available with this tech, though the Legacy remains the only one in the category with its standard. And with its $23,645 base price, the Subaru is the most affordable option if you are on the hunt for a mid-size sedan with power going to all four wheels. 
To get all-wheel drive in the Altima, you will have to part with at least $26,575, while the Camry will set you back $27,365 to start. Yes, the Legacy lacks standout style and isn't a hoot behind the wheel, but it's a very well-rounded, comfortable sedan, packed with tech and features a spacious cabin at an affordable price point. It won't set hearts ablaze, but those are nevertheless some strong merits to stand on.